The Greenland shark is a large, heavyset shark that lives in polar waters. They have thick, cylindrical bodies that are usually brown or gray in color that sometimes have whitish spots or faint dark streaks on the back. They are almost comical in appearance and are known for being very sluggish. This shark can grow up to 21 feet in length and can weigh up to 1,710 pounds. This makes them one of the largest living shark species, with its size comparable to the great white. Although they have a long lifespan of 21 years, they are an unusually slow-growing shark, only growing about one centimeter per year. Their life processes seem to occur in slow motion due to their extremely cold environment. They are so slow that they have a cruising speed of less than one mile per hour. Their teeth are unusual in that their upper teeth lack serrations and their lower teeth are broad, square, and interlocking, resembling a saw. The Greenland shark is an opportunistic predator, feeding upon anything close enough that it can grasp with its short, powerful jaws. Their diet includes invertebrates, fish, seabirds, and sometimes seals. They are also scavengers, attracted to the smell of rotting meat in the water. They have been known to feed on drowned land animals such as reindeer and even a horse. Aside from their slow nature, scientists have observed Greenland sharks fiercely attacking prey on surface waters. They are also known to congregate in large numbers around fishing operations. Due to its slow nature, the Greenland shark has limited reproductive capacity and a litter size of 10. They use internal fertilization and are ovoviviparous, retaining their young in the embryo during fertilization until live birth. Currently, their gestation period is unknown. The Greenland shark habitat is epibenthic. They live on the surface of sediments at the bottom of the sea. They can live in astonishing depths up to almost 4,000 feet. Populations inhabit northern Atlantic and Arctic waters. Although the Greenland shark has no known natural predators due to its massive size, it has a common parasite that attaches to the eye, causing corneal lesions, which can result in partial blindness. It does not greatly affect the shark since it does not fully rely on vision. Some speculate that the parasite is bioluminescent, its faint glow in the dark water luring prey close enough to striking distance of the Greenland shark. If this theory were found true, it would mean that the parasite and shark have a symbiotic relationship. Greenland shark flesh is very poisonous to warm-blooded animals, including humans, if eaten fresh. Consuming even a small amount often results in stiff movements, conjunctivitis, vomiting, hypersalivation, respiratory distress, convulsions, and in some cases death. Scientists have identified trimethylamine oxide and high concentrations of urea as the toxic chemicals in their flesh. These chemicals help stabilize their enzymes and structural proteins against the harsh effects of their extremely cold and high-pressure environment. At temperatures as low as 28 degrees Fahrenheit, even the toughest proteins would dysfunction without some form of chemical protection. Greenland sharks have been found in aquatic pressures of 3,300 pounds per square inch. The Greenland shark is not considered dangerous to man because of its extremely cold habitat being much too cold for common swimmers. The likelihood of an attack is slim to none, and there are no recorded accounts. Like most other shark species, humans pose a serious threat to these animals. Historically, the Greenland shark was targeted for its liver oil, but is now primarily caught as bycatch in fish traps, shrimp trawls, and gill nets. In northern regions, they are hunted commercially and recreationally for human and sled dog consumption. This shark's flesh has to be dried to be edible. Eskimos use the dried skin as leather for boots and the lower teeth of the shark's jaw as knives for cutting hair. According to the International Union for Conservation, or the IUCN, the Greenland shark is considered near-threatened on the red list of endangered species. This species is vulnerable due to its small geographic distribution and abnormally slow life history. For future conservation actions on the Greenland shark, bycatch rates need to be monitored. The Greenland shark is ecologically important to its cold and high-pressure environment because it is a natural predator and keeps a balance on the ecosystem it resides. Because it is such a physiologically unique shark species, it is important that we protect it from possible near extinction and closely monitor their populations.